guys this is like a freestyle session for me i'm going to be talking about a lot of interesting stories happening that happened in the niger entertainment industry and other uh, kind of social media platforms a lot of people are talking about them and uh, you have to actually understand that man somehow or uh, some people are tired of talking about niger politics we still have uh, this old man being recycled in the niger um you know politics and um, people are not really in interested in that again saying that who do we vote for who do we vote for that is what they are saying based on the structure of niger politics away from politics let's talk about entertainment for some times right now we have the lives of whiskey burner boy we have uh, davido we still have the lives of rema we have irasta we have mi baga we have uh, um you know jesse jacks actually coming out to say man i'm putting through a new song and we have a lot of them being discussed and we have choma and davido is also a fight topic to talk about before i proceed for that i want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing them across social media platforms if you are new here why don't you take out time click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos you can go and check us out on other social media platforms like our page be a part of it let's talk about things happening in the Niger music industry you know Sam Clef actually busted bubbles at a point in time when um, you know after Banky W uh, um, at an interview spoke about Whiskey going to the albums and uh, you know what happened between him and Whiskey and uh, Whiskey's interview about uh, you know old interview about leaving EME that is a uh, Banky W's uh, music uh, record label where he spoke about leaving that record label with without um you know with a zero account balance and that is quite uh, pathetic he was this big whiz and nobody knew that man money not the account or all this kind of thing i think it was a sad moment for whiskey at the point in time banky w on the other hand came out to say man whiskey didn't actually come to my wedding in south africa and a lot of uh, you know things happened around that and some people are now saying that man you're not gonna feed to uh somebody uh what you do with kid and expect the person to always smile around you and all those kind of things and uh, some clef came out to say man you know what uh, Banky W and uh, Whiskey, you guys are still owing me realities and Pac Rumor is one of my songs and all those kind of things and something transpired, Banky shared a kind of uh, song, uh, you know, to, um, kind of uh, update and uh, the things around the song and that uh, got Sam Clef worried at the point in time. Sam Clef threatened to put out a documentary and said, man, I'm going to speak and boss more bubbles in the Nigerian music industry. Away from that, let's talk about something. You know, somebody came out in the Nigerian music industry, accused uh, Don Jazzy and said, man, you know what? That is a person of Chudike. Chudike accused Don Jazzy of paying radio stations and other platforms to not play his song at a point in time, saying that, man, Don Jazzy felt threatened that me Chudi King sounds like uh, you know um, a person of uh, Wandiko who was under Don Jazzy at the point in time, and a lot of people looked at it like that, say, man, no wonder Chudi King's uh, career actually ended because you know he didn't have that uh, muscular uh, you know financial muscle to actually pull through. And now people are saying that you can bypass radio station, television stations to have your songs being promoted across social media platforms and that has given some people leverage and they are making do with it and um, some bloggers are ready to actually push you further with a little tips and then that is working for a lot of people in the niger music industry let's talk about um you know uh, whiskey boner boy and davido at a point like this and uh, these are the big trades 
in the Nigeria entertainment industry. Either we hearing something that is a bit uh, funny from uh, David O, and we still hearing that Whiskey talking about earning one million dollars, and uh, you know uh, Odogu saying that man he is the highest paid artist in Africa, and a lot of people thought that when he said that. On social media, I think uh, right now we need to understand that Big Wiz was paid uh, one million dollars to headline a show, and that is going to be so loud and it's all interesting at a point like this. And a lot of people are saying, "Man, any six hundred million naira to headline a show that is a big number for Wizkid at a point like this." And uh, what is your own take about that? Yes, the video actually made it to the World Cup anthem of. 20 2022 that is the Qatar 2022 and a lot of people were so excited about that but we didn't see that much love from uh, other artists and other celebrities and that a lot of people decided to condemn in totality and uh, David came out to say yes you know what I'm against the industry right now unfollowed some persons on social media like uh, Two Face in Libya but uh, some people are really interested uh, in the story what comes out of the story uh, soon and David is actually working on things uh, with a lot of artists like Young John they are putting out uh, a remix of Dada uh, on Thursday and we are hopeful that man that is going to be a banger at the end of the day away from that let's talk about Davido Choma and uh, some kind of uh, rumors of girlfriend here and there that is also trending on social media uh, recently um, Choma's video of uh, with a strange guy actually made it to the social media and a lot of people generated some kind of uh, big discussions around that and that is all interesting and some people are now saying that um to an extent uh david o cannot stay with one woman you know having numerous baby mamas and the rest and uh, people are now saying that david o still having a new girlfriend on the blog that is coming after um <laughs> peruzzi came out to say all my niggas are single and david o replied saying that man me i'm not single and that is generating a lot of uh, reactions on social media and people are now pointing fingers at Vanessa saying that Vanessa is a Davido's uh, girlfriend and also somebody just bought a Range Rover according to what she claimed and people are saying that Range was bought uh, for her by Davido and they came out to debunk the whole of that and that is uh, also interesting at a point like this away from that let's talk about some other things trending on the social media and some other things happening uh, around the world Elon Musk just paid about or is paying about 44 billion dollars just to acquire Twitter and that is going to make Twitter a kind of uh, a privately owned company at the end of the day and some persons are saying that man this could be a special arrangement between um you know that is a uh, former twitter ceo jack dozy and then uh, Elon musk because they felt that when uh, Elon musk after acquiring twitter is going to return jack dozy as the ceo of twitter and that a lot of people are saying man that is a welcome development why some other persons are saying that is a bit uh, manipulative at the time and uh, the former president of America was able to respond to that, saying that, man, Twitter, they gave me a live ban on Twitter. And then Jack Dorsey, um, that is a person of Elon Musk, acquired Twitter, and he's been uh, a good friend of Elon Musk. And he said, even though Elon Musk decided to say, let me reverse your own um, you know, account on Twitter, man, I'm not coming back on Twitter because I already have my own social media platform called uh, Truth Social and a lot of millions are on that platform already. Although Donald Trump only posted once on that platform, I think it's going to be a bit uh, uh, kind of, um, you know, active this time around and uh, people are saying there's room for competition. I think uh, um, Elon Musk 
acquiring Twitter is going to bring a lot of business opportunities around Twitter. Yes, before I jump off finally, I want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing them across social media platforms. If you are new here, why don't you take out time, click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos guys i love you guys keep supporting through a zip keep watching my videos and keep sharing them across social media platforms you can go and check me out on other social media platforms i love you i love you i love you i love you guys